of bankruptcy for American families, accounting for two-thirds of all personal bankruptcies. As president, how you protect Americans who get sick from financial ruin? First of all, how can we be the best country in the world and have the most expensive health care in the world? We have an issue. My mom was in the hospital, and when she was in the hospital, they tried to bring her a couple of Tylenol. And she said, I don't need it. And they said, honey, go ahead and take it because you're paying for it anyway. Why is it that when we got the bill, the insurance company in the hospital negotiated the bill for her without her having anything to do with it? When I am president, we will break all of it, from the insurance company to the hospitals to the doctor's offices to the PBMs to the pharmaceutical companies. We will make it all transparent because when you do that, you will realize that's what the problem is. Second thing is you've got to deal with tort law. The lawyer, the doctors don't give you the 10 tests because they want to. It's because of the 90% chance they'll get sued. And then we need to bring competition back to health care, get rid of certificate of need systems, and make sure that they can compete. We have to put the patient in the driver's seat. They've been in the back seat for way too long. And once we give the patient the ability to decide their health care, deciding which plan they want, that is when we will see magic happen. But we're going to have to make every part of the industry open up and show us where their warts are, because they all have them, and we need to fix this on behalf of the Governor American Burgum people. Governor Burgum, in 30 seconds. Yeah. Do, you have a, do you have a better way in 30 seconds? Well, yes, we're not, we're not talking about the real problem ever. We talk about why do we have the most expensive health care in the world. It's because the federal government got involved the same way they did with EVs, and they said, we're going to subsidize a particular kind of software back in 2008 under Obama, and they said, hey, we're going to do this. It's going to make everybody more produ productive. All of you that are watching have been to a doctor's office when the doctor's got his back to you and their hands on a keyboard. The, the only industry in the world that's ever absorbed $1 trillion of IT and became less productive, they saw less patients per day, is U.S. health care because of they were subsidizing a certain kind of technology. It wasn't, it wasn't about improving health care. It was about picking winners and losers. Every time the federal government's involved, whether it's higher education, okay. health care, or now the auto industry, things get more expensive and less competitive. That was a great transition because we are going to move on the future of education in America. What's the government's role in finding a way forward? The second Republican debate rolls on from Simi Valley. An informed patriotism is what we want. And are we doing a good enough job teaching our children what America is and what she represents in the long history of the world?